and I tell these guys that are coming out here first of all is that I seek no glory of my own. Um, I have evidence. A lot of people got stories. A lot of people got some ideas. But I've got proof. I've got evidence of what the power of God can do by loving on the man, giving him a second chance, showing him and be by leadership, by example, and then doing something like this. Now, there's a building here that we're working on, and it's 18,000 square foot for, for Mr. Lewis, um, Lewis Truck Lines. And a great man that, uh, that, uh, that allowed us and made to do this job right in here. And, and this is how we support the ministry because the ministry is not really supported. Churches don't like to give it too much because they have their own stuff and I'm not dogging the church. And, and people say, you know, they have a hard enough time paying the light bill. So how can they really reach out and help us at times? But God has always made a way. And when I prayed specifically with the new homes going in, I prayed to God. I said, I, I said, Lord, I, we need a lot of finances, septic tanks and footers and the wiring and the plumbing and, and to put these homes together. And I said, for your people. And um, sort of like Moses was saying, pleading for, 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 for your people, God. And um, so I figured maybe that we'd be blessed and I'd open up the mailbox and, and there would be a check for like, you know, $50,000. That would be really good. But that didn't happen. Um, God gave me a job. He said, I want you to go to work. And the profits of the work, I want you with the guys to pay for the foundations and putting these homes together the best that you can and when people see you put it all in maybe they'd be more prone to maybe help you because you give it all you had that's what we've done so this building 18,000 square foot major beam work major cross members a very low profile building um, so it's got a high roof as we put the roof on standing seams three inch very big and, and this looks like normal. I know it looks to maybe some of you people like it's a big job or it's, a thing, it's something big. It is big. Um, but the big part of this is we use guys to put this together that has never worked on a metal building before in their life. These, some of these guys are very talented. Sometimes we just got to find out where their talents are and apply. Well, I found three of these guys, and it would be Jeff. Um, if you need help, this is a good place to be. There's a brotherhood, and there's people that here that have been through what you've been are going through, and, and we can help you get through what you've been or what you're going through, because all of us has been there at one point. Charles, and we have Tommy. Well, he needed some workers on the steel framing crew, and I had a little experience in that, so. Went out there, I've been working with them. Jason. It's a good place to get your head straight. And uh, you got good family here. Helped me out a lot. Helped me stay clean and helped me find my relationship with Jesus Christ. And uh, even uh, uh, Roger up there. First he handed me a card and said, uh, expect a miracle. You know, and then, uh, you know, he invited me out to the farm. I come out to the farm and, you know, after a few months, I realized I was the miracle that card meant. Um, participating in this building here. And through um, the last, uh, it be almost three months now, we're a little bit slower than it would be. But we learned, these guys learn a new trade and they're comfortable, they work together as a team. We come every morning, uh, we don't miss a day, even in rain days, we'll at least show up to show you know, the customer that we really are dedicated to getting this building done. And so all I need to really break, all I'm really trying to say here is that God can do anything, um, anything. 